Well, reassembling the uh, bike. Um, I'll do a final reve reveal video when that's all put back together. But right now I got to re replace <coughs> the front strut, one of the front struts on one of the fleet. So I'll pull that in here and show you what I got to do. Alright guys, I got the uh, wheel off. Oh, you still can't see anything. Hold on. There's the new rotor I put on a couple months back. And there's our problem. The spring is broke right there, which will not pass inspection. So. I'm going to take this strut out and replace it as an assembly. Um, easy, quicker that way, and less dangerous. Well, these ones aren't too bad. And there is three. With a little help from the cheater bar. This isn't bad at all. pop right out of here. Just patience for plastic cars like this, so sometimes I get a little abusive. Alright, there she is. There's the there's our problem. hidden part of the junkyard. Now I gotta hunt search through all these tires. I found the strut. So I love this place. That one really don't look too bad. Yeah, only if it had just missing a few bad. parts. I might be tempted to pull that quadrajet off. I need some parts. But that poor engine probably is not so good anymore being out in the rain. Alright guys, I got uh, the strut. I got the spare tire for the Saturn. The spare wheel. And I got a new bumper for this truck. Or a newer. It just has one hole in it.
right, these bolts have to be tightened to 114 foot-pounds, which is right about, click, there. Well, the Saturn is out, and I pulled the 95 in here, and here's the bumper I got for it, 35 bucks at the boneyard. Not too awful bad. A little duct tape, fix that. Um, there's only one hole in it. There's a little surface rust there. But it should clean up pretty nice. There's the hole. Uh, it looks like somebody hit something and it probably kind of cracked it there and then it rusted out. I'm not worried about it. That's nothing compared to this bumper. Terrible. So, I'll swap this out. Those bolts are going to be a pain, but uh, I'll get it. I was under here uh, unbolting the bumper, and I found this uh, wire that's not even plugged into anything. Um, if anybody knows what that is, I'd uh, definitely like to know. But it's located there. See, there's the bumper. It's right there. Hanging down. Well, guys, it's another day. Um, I figured out they have to take the whole darn grill apart to get to the bolts on the bumper. And this piece, I already, I already took the bolts out, so this should come right out. Alright, I got the old bumper off. All right, there she is. I didn't bolt it, bolt it down yet. Um, it's just got one hole here and one hole here. But compared to the old bumper, it's mint. Looks good. And I like that uh, little shroud on, on the bottom there. That plastic shroud, it's a little rough. Uh, a little duct tape should fix it. There's a little crack over on that side. Here's the old one. Look at that. I just put a giant dent in it. That's not a bumper. Once they get that rusty, they're uh, pretty useless. So This is a pretty solid one. I'm happy with it. Should uh, get a few winters out of it. Anyway guys, I'll bolt this up and show you what it looks like. Well, there's the bumper. Looks a whole lot better. Next thing is I'm going to get one of those uh, grill guard things. Just kind of the push bars. Um, and put that on there. Anyway, that's that.